everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play the Indies. Today, I'm going to play Armello. It's early access, it's by League of Geeks. I'm really excited to get into it. Armello is a swashbuckling adventure that combines the RPG elements that we love from RPG games with strategic play from card games and board games like Settlers of Canon, I think is Canaan, that's how you say that. Um, and other other card games in our mellow you you create this personal story filled adventure for you um, you play as a hero from one of the four animal clans you have the rat clan the ra rabbit clan bear clan and wolf clan players uh, navigate their their 3d character across the board as they play quests and schemes and vanquished monsters perform the mad king's royal edicts and and face off against other players and Ultimately, your goal in mind is storming the palace and becoming the king or queen of Armello. So, Ar what Armello is trying to do with this game is revolutionize digital board and card games while providing a, a rich world with, within which they can craft their own stories or epic adventures. So, it's, it's pretty cool to have that kind of idea. Um... And to be able to and to be able to play something like this because I've I've always loved those strategic, uh, way back to even Risk, you know those uh, role playing games where you have to plan every move and plan your attack and not spread yourself too thin and things like that. So I'm really excited to see how this game takes that and puts it into a a different world um, for for me as a player who absolutely loves this kind of stuff. So once again, the whole idea is to get to the castle. And uh, and stop the king. Uh, well, be, either become the king, beat the king, whatever, whatever, whatever. Sweet. So I got another card. Former scholar has requested you help him transport scrolls across the plains. His opinions are considerably dangerous by many, but his knowledge can prove valuable in your quest for the throne so I get it I, I finally think I get it so that was questing I had an issue with that last but that last game but that was questing right there so good so I'm gonna equip this perfect and I'm not gonna do anything with that okay um I'm going to shove. Boo! What am I gonna do? I don't, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna end my turn. See what else happens here. Amber, let's go. Amber, hurry up! Move it. I got a. I got a turn to take. Come on, Amber. Make it happen. Questing. Ah. Oh. So she got one. Lo not loyalty point. Um. Oh. How did that happen? I switched somehow. I missed the the mouse's turn. I don't know how I switched. I must hit a button and I didn't realize I hit. Um, I do like, oh, I hit WASD. I do like that you can move the camera around with WASD and not even pay attention to what's going on. Um, which is pretty cool. It automatically pulls you back. So there's our, I don't even remember the names for any of this stuff anymore. But um, okay, so I have four. And I have to get over here. So I'm going to go up one, two before I move. I'm going to um, put this here. Oops, I can't afford that. I'm going to put this here. Why can't I play that there? Put that right there on the way to my stuff to guard it. Let's go one more step forward. And I'm encountering a peril myself. Damn. I'm going to not do either of those because they won't help me. So I could have burned cards there. And um, whatever. I rolled the die. I only got one of the pieces. That sucks. Um, yeah, that sucks a lot. So I just lost whatever. The one money. So no big deal. One money, no big deal. Oh, I still had one left, and I just quit my turn. Damn. Okay. Come on, Amber. What do you got? So she just took over a town and put a thing, uh, a peril on top of it. 
and then he just, uh, I don't know what he did. He just lost some AP climbing up there, and he takes over that town. She draws some cards, and I know you can see this, um, whatever. Really, so let's just, let's just, as I'm playing, um, I'll stop narrating what I'm doing, because that's dumb, and that's boring. So, I really like this game so far, um, because of, uh, because of all the different quests that come at you. Um, the King's Sorcerers will siphon one magic from all players. Can't pay, lose one prestige. Damn. Ugh. I like that there's different things like that like different things happen every time and if if you're if you're the prestige leader you get um, you get this opportunity to you know hurt all the other players or or help yourself in certain ways um, and that's I think super duper cool and that didn't do shit for me I was hoping that would give me more health um, so yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with the game as a whole. Uh, it's fun like this. You get over this dungeon here, and it you explore the dungeon, and I found two coins. So I got my two coins back, so that's good. And then I go over here into a quest, and I think it's just super cool because you find a scholar struggling across the wide plains, arms overfilled with scrolls. The king's guards pursuing him would apparently rather see the blasphemous writings, and the scholar burned. So what do I do? I have four wit, four strength, and three spirit. Um, so I don't think the spirit's a good choice for me. Um, turn the scholar in for... Nope. Distract the king's guard. Nope. I'm going to try spirit just because that's what I'd prefer to do. You crouch low to the ground, pause in the rolling plane with the mind focus you call upon. The wild, the cast illusions of the scholar far afield to throw off the king's guard. The wild listens and gratefully rewards you. So I got a prestige point for that. That's super cool. And it's those things that I quested. And I got the prestige points. And I got all this other cool stuff. And now I have to do another quest. And um, to win, there's multiple different ways to win. You can win by the prestige. Or you can win... Uh, you can win by killing the king, or the king will die from rot, and you're the prestige leader, so then you win. Um, but the prestige has a lot to do with it, and I think that's a lot of fun, being able to move through the terrain and such. So far, I've only played this map, haven't finished it, don't know if there's any more. I'd love it if they were um, randomly generated. I think that would make it a lot uh, even more playable to do at any time. It would be less like a board game that you pretty much play and it's always the same board and you get these strategies. Um, as a video game, it needs to be replayable in a different way. Uh, and having them randomly generated, I think, would be really, really cool. And it looks like it is because you can kind of see the the shapes of the, the pieces as they stick together. So pretty excited to see how this goes. So here we go. Master Thief has been at work in the Forest of Armello in the Clint wolf clan had has had enough to of her whatever find her and put an end to her villainous ways cool i have one more left so what i'm gonna do because it's probably closing on nighttime i haven't quite figured out how how to um get to this nighttime thing but i'm gonna drop here in the night and i'm going to put on an adventurer's kit whoops you gotta wait for it to shake or blink or whatever so there we go um and now i'm gonna do this i can't afford it anymore this right here and then i'm gonna click here and i took that settlement that's super cool and then yeah so i'm gonna end my turn there sweet um i'm excited to play some uh some multiplayer and and see how that is against other people um i don't know you know what to expect from multiplayer if i'm gonna have abil abilities to talk with the people that i'm playing against am i going to have um the you know is it gonna be typing chat is it going to be uh voice chat am i going to be able to talk directly with people and have actual conversations while i play and um, and things like that. Um, some of the other things that I think would be pretty cool is um, for the game, because I know it's in I know it's in a beta. I mean, an alpha stage right now. It'd be really super duper cool if you could um, 
I'm gonna get attacked. So I'll come back to that in a second. What would be super cool. So he's... Yep, so I have uh, one attack. And I'm gonna go ahead and burn this card. And I'm gonna roll those. So let's see what I get. I got a shield. I got a moon. That's not gonna do shit for me. But I got another attack. So she's got two attacks, but three defense. So she blocks all of mine. And I only take one damage. But I do not lose. I don't believe. Oh, come on. Oh, because I'm the only one that took damage. So she took her little house back, I think. Or her little uh, settlement back. But what I think it would be really cool... Um... What I think would be really cool for, uh, for this, um, God, for, uh, this game is when, uh, when you're next to, like, say we're right here, like, I'm here and the bear's right here. Say the bear gets in a fight from something, me and the bear can be allies and she could ask me for help, and that'd be pretty cool, um. Of course, I don't know what that takes to code that. I would assume that that would take a lot of thoughts and things like that. But to be able to backstab and help other people rather than just attacking them, I think that would make it kind of interesting. As well as being able to put different defenses on your tiles um, and being able to claim tiles as your own as you're moving through. So maybe like I I have a um, I have my spot here that I claim. This is my little area. And maybe as I go, I can claim these other spots for mine and leave defenses on them to keep them from moving through too easily. I don't know. That's that's some of the other things that have been in board games like this that I've played. Um, so, uh, um, yeah, it's 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 uh, interesting. So that would be pretty cool. Anyways, I'm getting off on a crazy, crazy ass tangent right now. So I'm going to go for I'm going to lose a life right here. Ugh. It's okay. It's okay. I got it. So stop, thief. You wake up from a rather, na rather nasty blow on your head. Arms tied behind your back. Before you stands a fox thief. The fox thief you've been chasing. Your dagger's at the ready. She gives you one... She, she gives you but one opportunity to explain yourself. Lie to her. You're just a humble traveler. I'm going to lie to her. You make a convincing story about your accidental separation of your family caravan. The bandit seems convinced. When she frees you, however, you are quick to end her life and loot the camp. Good lord. Um, one thing I'm finding pretty interesting is that I've pretty much won all of my... Members of your clan are being oppressed in a small village, so I have to go back to my clan. Um, I'm pretty successful at, at winning these pieces, so I'm... Not 100% sure uh, the thought process. Like, how does it work? How do you... Um, how do you get your... Um, like, how, how does it know that with four I win? Or is it a roll of the dice and I just get with a four? It's like it's like when you roll, it's you have to get a five or below. But if you have four, then that takes one more. So that, then you don't have to get like a two or below or something. Um... Or if you get anything to or below, you still win. So it's only two chances for you to lose. So I wonder if it's a die like that, like you'd play if you had a die. Um, it'd be interesting to actually see that die roll, though. Um, rather than just... Uh, rather than just it happening. But as I've said before, absolutely cool. Totally, totally, and utterly cool. Um, I'm going to end my turn here. I know I got one more AP, but I want to stay in the um, in the, the trees. I want to hide. Uh, you get better defense or hiding or something in the tree, and that's what I would prefer. This rabbit's going to die. I don't know why. The, the rabbit got screwed with all these swamps around her area. Um, oh, why am I not seeing the stealthy dude move? What's going on? Spy network. So now he just hid. He's doing... He had to do the peril. Um, yeah, I think there's going to be a whole new element when I play this multiplayer. Of course, uh, playing it like this, I'm just sitting here watching and, you know, waiting and sort of being bored and not really knowing uh, exactly what I'm doing. And Well, I mean, I know what I'm doing. I just... There's not much of a push in either direction. I... 
I am the the prestige leader, which is awesome. So I get to pick one of these. No battle between heroes is allowed until dawn. Lose all prestige if you deny the king and attack another hero. Oops, the king's sorcerers have opened a portal to the underworld. Three banes appear this night. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna really mix it up, and I'm gonna bring the banes in. You know, that's, I think that's one of the cool things that you can do. You know, this might hurt me just as much as it hurts everybody else. Um, but I'm pretty excited to see what happens. You know? So these guys go out. That's good. Kill the Banes. Hopefully they can kill him. He killed the Bane. Good job, Kingsguard. I also love the art in the game so far. Um, right now I have my 3D turned pretty far down, so I can't really comment too much on the 3D art because I did, I did pull it down very much so what did i do did i die i must have died i don't know how okay so here we go another quest another quest the village the village tyrannical god i can't even read i apologize this is not a good game for me to play um as you cut through the score of their numbers wolf clan is grateful but there's still a question of how to deal with the surviving feline oppressors so i'm getting a hit by cats that's hilarious okay i'm going to test my prestige because i have a lot of prestige so i'm gonna go ahead and test is this my prestige i only have two prestige did i have to use prestige i don't know um i'm gonna test my prestige and see what happens there are cheers from the wolf clan as the female, the feline oppressors are executed in the public square by, by a former mercenary. Your praise will be swung, sung for years to come. That's awesome. So, yeah, that's super cool. The world has, the word has spread of your terrifying, terrifying creature, Armello. Some say it's, some say it's of the wolf clan. Others say it's a monster. Uncover the truth. Oh, I'll uncover the truth. That's a good distance away, though. Um, I am going to... Why can't I put it there? I want to play that. There we go. Okay, so on my turn. Um, so my strategy here is just trying to have as much prestige when this when the um, when the king or whatever dies because my rolling skills have basically sucked ass since I started playing this game. I have basically lost every battle this time around, um, and I'm not expecting to do much better. Um, so I'm. I'm hoping that I can just have the most prestige by the time the the king dies. I win. I become king. All is good in the world of the Wolf Clan. And right now we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six turns left? Or something like that. So three Banes just appeared. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kicks on his ass. Do it. Do it. Oh, she beat him back. Who you gonna oh whose ass are you gonna kick? Oh, doing the guard up. Oh, guard might die. Oh, oh boy. What else? We got one more. Oh, you gotta be on my spot, huh? There we go. There we go. Playing an adjacent hero. There we go. One. Two. How much, how much life does she have? Three. Four. And I'm going to play this. How much life does a, does a Bane have? I'm going to save that for the Bane over here. Hopefully she doesn't decide to attack me. That'd be dumb. I'd be pissed if she did. But let's see what happens. Amber's turn. What is this, um... Hot rot wine. Oh, one negative one health to one action point this turn. Okay, cool. So if I needed to go one more further, I could use that. Nice, go. 
go Ratman. Merc Mercurio. Mercurio? Mercutio? I'm gonna have to learn how to read that. I'm gonna have my 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 wife, my English wife, tell me how to read that word, because that's not like a retard. Oh. Oh. Okay, here we go. What's Sana gonna do? Sana's drawing some cards. She's teleporting to the furthest dungeon. May not. Really confused. I must maybe not read that right. How many times are you gonna attack him? What's going on here? The battle was undecided. The battle was undecided. The battle was undecided. Two people have perished. Saying it's me again. He wants counsel. Royal acquisition. You can't have that. King claims one spirit stone from every hero that has one. Each hero is stripped of one random equipped item. If you have no none, lose to prestige. I want to look at the other people and uh, find out what they have. Like I don't think there's a way for me to do that though, and that's uh, frustrating to me. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do royal acquisition. I don't have a spirit stone, so if anybody does, I want them to uh, to lose it. But I don't think anybody has a spirit stone. So, everybody's happy with me right now. No big deal. Nobody's going to get pissy. And that's the important part here. Whoa! Mother... Motherfucker! You... You teleported me, ass! I had no idea that that... Oh my god, really? You little piece. Unbelievable. Ugh! I don't want to attack him. He just needs to get out of my damn way. Going into the mountain. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw a peril somewhere. Where can I throw it? Where can I throw Where can I stick this? Not very many places. I don't quite understand where I can put these. I always figured it was like within a certain range around me or something whatever um i'm saving this for a little later so i can steal prestige from each one of my heroes play an adjacent hero cause two deaths immediately um i'm gonna lose a health there we go there we go end turn so I just wanted to make sure I got extra gold next turn, which is why I lost a health for that. I'm hoping not to get in any battles, and I got um, into a safer area than I was before. I got the Bane is... Well, I got a guard between me and the Bane, so hopefully the Bane will attack the guard and not me, and I can just cruise on through um, and not even worry anything about it. So He's got Moon Juice. I don't know what that means, but he's got Moon Juice. The strategies seem pretty straightforward. Um, I'm wondering if there isn't like a... I'm wondering if there isn't a, uh, a more specific like strategy or a more, you know, pro strategy that I'm not thinking of. Like how you get stronger and how you actually get up there to, um, to battle the king. But, um... For me, I'm not really 100% sure, you know, the thought behind it, uh, to be completely honest. But we'll see. We'll see when I play online what happens. But I'm very, very, very happy with this game. It's in alpha right now, and it's phenomenal for being an alpha state. Um, it's playable. I have felt no bugs, at least that I, that I think I felt no bugs at all. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm excited to... Um, to find out what happens so I'm gonna use this damn so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to sneak past this guy I can do one two three four to get to here Ooh, that's not that's not safe that is not safe at all so I'm gonna go yeah um what is this peril I have a peril that I have to do 
So I'm gonna hit the peril up. <gasps> oh no, not not gonna happen. <sighs> I'm gonna just roll. I'm gonna roll for it. Come on, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yes, I beat the peril. Woo! That was scary. Didn't need that. In no way, form, or fashion would I need that. So he's only got two left. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this at him. Oh, I can't play it on him. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and use it on her then. Oops. Boom. <laughs> that seemed really mean, but extremely, extremely exciting to do. Like I'm really happy that I did that. Um, so I can't do anything else um, I'm gonna use this on me and then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna attack this dude and hope that works um, I only got two life so he's only got to take two damage from me but I have an attack a defense a defense you know I'm, I'm good to go so and I really wanted to use this against him, so I'm gonna go ahead and just burn that right there. And then I'm gonna roll the rest of my dice. Dice, dice. I got an attack. Oh, oh, you just getting. Oh, blocked them all. Boom, Bane, suck it. That's right. Bane down. I got a, I got a point uh, prestige for killing him. And most likely, this other band's gonna attack me. Oh shoot! Look, I got I got one left. I made it here. I get through the dungeon. Okay, the rotten one. You track a creature to its bone, filled lair in an old mind. What was a proud wolf warrior has become a twisted, misshaped, shapened by rot. It sees you in the dark, glowing eyes fixed on your throat. What do I do? What do I do? Well, I dropped my <laughs> my wit down. Um, I have six, so I'm gonna fight it. Powerful swipe from the wolf claws, dig deep into your chest, and the tooth bites your leg. You slay the beast, but you can feel the rot now cursing through your blood. So I got one rot. Damn it. But I did get more prestige. God, I got one lot rot. Uh, the captain of the King's Guard has been seen in this village. He could be in a vet. <laughs> He could be a valuable ally, closer to the throne, whatever, whatever. Go get this powerful foe or ally. Um, I'm going to use this right now. Boom. Ha, <laughs> and my turn. I'm probably going to die, and I don't know if I die if I lose all my prestige. Because if I do, that's probably a bad idea. Oh, just comes up to attack me. Well, we're even still. <sighs> Come on. Come on. There we go. How many die do I get? So there's no way in hell, but... Do those count as attack pieces? Because this is unreal. It just keeps going. Oh my god. There, she shouldn't even get to attack me. Well, we both die. I got negative 15 on her. So I went down one when I died. Okay, so that's fine. Um, I, I lost one prestige for dying. Um, but I gained a wit. So my when my turn starts back up, I should, be, I should gain another wit. Um, and it should go back down to, uh, up to, it should go up to five and then I'll have better wit. I'm pretty excited about that. This game definitely gets more fun. The more you get used to the, how the game plays, uh, and, and you know what, what strategies you need to use, it gets a lot more fun and I'm, uh, I'm excited to continue to play here. Dawn of the fifth day. So we're five days in, I'm destroying them for, for prestige. So as long as I can... Keep my prestige, I'm good to go. Okay, I've decided 
who's my favorite the king gives the hero with lowest prestige or treasure sinister ritual something is happening to the banes across the land all banes gain one rot two to fight two to body um i don't think i'm gonna be that mean so i'm gonna give a treasure to uh the lowest person with prestige which is i think the bear is what we just saw so um it doesn't show us i would prefer that it showed me what what it was seems a little weird that it didn't show um so anyways i got no cards so i'm gonna pick some cards gain battle there we go in battle one to fight there we go i don't really like the spells that much i stick with uh with the traps and the items for this character cool cool i'm gonna do one more here equipables i already have a whole bunch of equipables nope Okay, so what do I got? One to fight, two to shields. I already have that. One to fight. Negative one to fight, two to swords. I don't... Oh, I see. Okay. In perils, gain one bonus die. I'm not worried about that, so I'm going to switch that. And I burned it. I forgot that I burned it, so... There we go. So I got two extra swords in battle, so that's what I really want. Okay, here we go. Where are we headed? Um, dying was actually a preferable uh, effect. Because now I can just walk right to my next quest and get some more uh, some more stuff here. Some more prestige. The captain. The conversation in the tavern hushes to a whisper when you enter. Yeah, that's right. You better hush to a winter. The captain and his closest allies notice you from their table, offering a threatening gla <laughs> glaze. <laughs> Through the clouds of smoke drifting around them. Convince the captain to turn against the king. Demand allegiance. You know what? I'm just going to demand allegiance because my, my prestige is amazing. The captain and his allies are impressed for your boldness. Though it certainly helps that your reputation precedes you. It takes very little convincing for your captain to offer his, al his allegiance to you. So, here's the thing. I know it's uh, probably the first... Uh, first game but so what do i do party oh that's so cool so what does that do for me that's new in battle shield cards are burned counts as swords instead oh sweet sweet and i'm gonna throw a trap right right i don't understand where i can play stuff i just don't get it Okay. Well, I can't afford it anyways, Jacob. God. Okay. Here we go. We're c coming really close to the end of this. Um, I'm going to win. I know it. It's going to happen. There's no way that I couldn't win at this point unless somebody actually gets in there and kills the king. Which, he's very, very close. He gets down to a couple hearts. It's definitely possible to kill him. Which, he gets down to a couple hearts. I'm going in. Especially since I have a, a teammate now to help me out. Um, I'm going in. So we'll see. Um, I didn't even think about that till just now. The lower his health gets, the easier it, he, easier it, it, it gets to kill him. Um, so that seems to be a pretty good strategy. Just kind of biding your time, questing, being in the right place at the right time. Because if you get in there and you kill him, doesn't matter if I have more prestige than you, you, you win. So he's only got four life. But you have to be able to take the, the guards down too. So being able to time when the guards are weak... Um, is a is another skill to to use. Thane's turn. I'm gonna do this. Negative one def enemies. Ugh, I don't really want that. So, where's my neck? Did it give me another quest? I don't feel like it gave me another quest. I think I'm questless out or quested out here. Another quest. No other quest. So apparently the quests stop every once in a while. Um, they're little quests, so I'm hoping that there's a ton of them, and that you you'll never see the same one. And if it's uh, especially online, if it's set up to a, a server, I hope that it just automatically updates those things because I think that would make that a lot more uh, entertaining. So he's only got four left. I only got three. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop over into here and. Uh, 
get some more life because that's what happens there. And then I'm going to use this if I can. I can't. So I'm just going to end my turn right there. So with no quest to do, at this point, I'm just awaiting his death. And I wonder if that's part of it too. We've gotten down to a certain amount of life here where quests are done. And uh, it kind of forces us to attempt our move forward. And, uh, and I'm excited to kind of see what happens there. You know, another thing that I'm uh, I'm noticing while I'm playing, every once in a while, it like it's I'm supposed to be following it. This little eye up here tells me that I'm following the character, but every once in a while, I'm not following the character. It stops following it, and it go and it like as they disappear or something, and then I don't see them anymore. I don't know. Like it doesn't feel like it's still following them. They end up at the bottom of the screen down here, um, and my screen's still centered on the last last uh, hexagon that they were on. So. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm excited to see possible. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm excited to see possible updates that will be coming when uh, when they start getting some bug up, some uh, bugs reported to them. Um, I'm excited to see what will happen. God, he's only got three. I have graciously decided to heal all wounds for a mere five gold. Death to those who can't pay. I can't pay. I'll die. Darkness strikes the land. Every hero gains one point of rot. I gotta do it. How many rot? How much rot do I have? What's going on here? Is there something down here that I'm not seeing? How much rot do I have? Oh. Oh, I can probably talk right there. So I can do all that while this is playing. So that's weird. Um, but how much rot do I have? Two. I have two rot, so I'm good. Because I probably still get the rot, even though I'm the one that selected it. So I should get one rot. Yep. And now I that pushed somebody over into corruption, which is cool, because now he is like a zombie, almost. Um, but he can still win. You can still win when you're rot. But it'd be interesting to see if you're playing four-player, if a person that's rot wins, they have to hold the place for like ten turns or something. If you get in there before 10 turns, then you, uh, then I feel like you lose. Um, do you wish to enter the palace? This will enrage the king and his guards, consuming all your remaining action points, and you will face a terrible peril. Do not enter. How much life does he have? He has three life, but he's got eight attack. He's a strong man right here. Um, this guy has four attack all of his life. This guy has three in all, most of his life. You know, that's I don't think that's a smart move right now. But there's not much else that I can do. Um, is this mine already? I don't know what my flag looks like. Is my flag green? My leg is not green. So I'm gonna go up here, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna attack this dude. I think I can beat him. So I have cards that give me two attack, and then there we go. Um, and if I were to burn this, give me another attack and I'll roll. So that Bane is dead unless he gets a whole bunch of defense. Explode, explode. I love the exploding ones. So I just got seven. There's no chance he's going to win. I kill him without taking a taking even a tiny bit of damage. Um, but I will take a damage because I landed on the, the Mog or whatever. The Bog. The Mog. It's a Mog. Um, so I took one damage for landing there, so now I'm down to two life. So I could easily be killed, but I have 11, uh, 11 prestige, so I'm not too worried about it. So I'll end, to, I'll end my turn and see what happens. Amber. I do love this game. This is so much fun. It's, it's really, really fun. I don't know if there's a multiplayer, um, on the same screen. Because there should be, it should be easy to do multiplayer on the same screen. Um, the only issue would be you'd be seeing each other's cards and you know, I think that's okay. I think that would be fine to, to allow everybody to see each other's cards. Uh, I think they could be face up, you know, with that terror of, oh my God, they could use that or, oh my God, I'm not going to win because they could burn those cards or would they burn those cards or would they risk it by, by rolling and what really would be the scenario there? Like, and I think that's an interesting way to look at it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna. I'll have to see. I'll have to go to back, back to the menu. I'll do do some more research. But definitely next next episode is gonna be me online playing. Um, 
against somebody online. Probably get my butt kicked because I've only had the I've only been playing for the past week, and I think it's been out for two weeks or so. Um, oh yeah, I probably should tell you that. Of course, uh, I've talked about it before. We're way into the game here, um, but this is our mellow as we've seen. It's out on um, uh, early access beta right now. Uh, so it's an, like alpha stage and that was that's the artist that's cool um early access beta and uh or maybe it's beta i don't know now i'm all confusing myself anyways it's on early access on steam and uh they're still taking bugs and still working on the game and fixing it and adding more and i can't really say fixing it, it plays beautifully so um it's just one of those it, it's it's pretty cool and uh and i don't see much changes that need to be made maybe some odd additions here and there but nothing crazy uh so far the game plays very much like a board game um the way that i'd expect the game to be played if it was a board game um and i bet when they created this game the the paper prototypes that they created were phenomenally fun and i really think that uh i would even be totally game if this game works to to do a similar thing board game style um and sell that as well and i think that would be super successful for the company to do um because uh because you know a lot of gamers like me we we do enjoy board games as well especially these kind of adventure style board games so yeah ba -da -ba -ba -ba. so i'm gonna burn one of these put that there and I'm gonna attack sauna because why not, right? I got nothing better to do. So I gain. So I have enough to take her out right now. I'm gonna burn this. Make sure I really take her out. So my roll's been much better recently. Oh, oh my god, seven. Seven! I block all of yours. So I got an overkill of negative one, which is pretty cool. My rolling's gotten a lot better. My strategy about burning cards has, I think, gotten much, much better. Um, I'm definitely an aggressor. I use uh, I use a lot more cards. I burn a lot more cards and such um, than, I, than I think maybe everyone would. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to stay right here because I'm definitely thinking that I'm going to attack here in one or two more turns. So if I can stay as close as I can, I'm going to attack this king and I'm going to try to win. If I don't win, I'm still going to have a lot of prestige. I have 11 prestige right now. So even if I don't win, um, I should be able to uh, maybe bring him down a little bit, take a few of his life away. And then when he dies off from his rot, uh, I will win. And that's the key right here. It's just uh, finding the best plan to make sure that you win. Um, and you can see with the rat here, he is... Uh, he is corrupted, so that's pretty cool. I can't remember exactly what it does um, for his corruption. I know that the moon and the sun dies, die, change, they switch. But other than that, I'm not 100% sure what rot does for you, except for the fact that you lose life, I think, every turn or whatever. Um, so here we go. How many life? He's got two life. I really think I'm going to kill this guy. Um, I'm going to go in. I'm going to try to take on whatever peril I have to take on. Uh, conspiracy. Everyone must sacrifice a follower to the cat. No. Ain't going to happen. The king marches to war. The king has ordered the king's guard to attack heroes on sight. I hate to do it, but I ain't getting rid of my guy because um, I'm hoping he's going to be successful for me to... Uh, to win and I'm about to attack him anyway so let's see what happens the rat is dead rats down who's next probably me I'm next to the next two of them oh really nice it didn't even attack me so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this refill refill health Perfect. I'm going to need that here in a second. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to use refill health. And then I'm going to um I'm going to attack. 
I'm gonna enter the palace. Woo! Hero is ejected from the palace, unmatched. So I have to get all of this stuff. So I'm gonna burn this. And I'm gonna roll the rest. God, I gotta get three. Ah, oh, I only got two of them. That's rough. That is rough. So what happened to Sana? She's played that in herself, I think. So I was expecting when I entered the palace, I would uh, have to fight the guards, not do a peril. That's that sucks because you gotta get four out. Of, you gotta get four to four right, um, or burn cards in order to get them right. But every time you burn a card, you lose a die. Um, and I kind of wish you didn't. I kind of wish you burned cards and you didn't lose dies be dice because of that. Um, but whatever. Here we go. Here we go. See, I'm not. Oh, I'm not following her because I pressed off her. Night time. He doesn't lose anything during the night. Um, he gains one more thing every night, though. One more rot. So I get a bonus die for activities performed at night. So I'm going to try to attack him again. Um, and hopefully not die. Target loses two gold. I don't want gold. Okay, here we go. Um, not much I can do except for I can go here. And then back. Aw. Back in. Okay, so I've encountered a group of druids. You approach the circles. Druids direct your attention towards three symbols carved in the rock. Their leader seems to be waiting for your choice. <sighs> Damn. I'm gonna. S Damn. I'm not sure. I'm gonna. S ah. I pointed at the tree. Oh my god! Druids lead you to a bomb beneath the ancient gnarled tree. You battle in its water and your soul is cleansed. I don't know why it had to do 99. It could. I mean, I guess that is a, is a kill all, but it probably could have just recognized how many I had. But still, awesome. So that was where the quest was? I didn't even see a quest on that. So now I have no more rot. I'm not losing any more damage. So I should be able to move. Why do I keep losing life there? Why the hell do I keep losing life there? That I'm unsure about. Okay, Amber. See, I don't know why I wasn't following Amber right there. That seems to be an issue. She encountered the peril. Did she win? Did she beat the peril? If she beats him, I'm going to be pissed. I'm really unhappy right now. I'm really unhappy. Oh, wow. All three of them are right there. I don't want to lose this to... I'm going to end up losing because this rabbit... Is gonna kill the king. I don't wanna lose this. Die. Just die. Kill over. Oh, the rabbit did though. Woo! Okay, new equipment for the king's guards. All guards get plus two body and two fight. Yes. You know what? Fine. Do it. I'm equipping the kings. Anything I can to keep them from attacking. That's what I'm talking about. Because they're hostile now. So I'm just going to stay away. Because <laughs> they're guarding. And that is uh, that is fine with me. Dude, don't come at me. Lay off, Holmes. So, I don't see any more quests. So, basically, it's just going to be random now. Maybe that those early quests were just um, 
uh, like tutorial quest because it's the first game I've ever played. So it was probably just tutorial quest. And uh, and moving forward, I'll just have to land on places and I automatically get quests based on that kind of stuff, which is definitely possible. Oh, so here we go. Hey, we're coming down to this is the last day. He's going to die. Um, um, one more day this day and then night and then he's going to die. So, And you can see light's pretty much down. We're still in day, but light's down. Um, and, uh, so Sauna here, the bear, is also corrupted. A lot of corrupted right now. Darkness falls. This is it. A round of turns and we'll, we will be done. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and fight this Bane because why not, right? I mean, why not? So I got three and two as a standard. I'm going to burn this. And see what I get. Seven. I got eight attack. Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! So I kill him, but he's about to kill me! Damn! Well, their ads are rot to me. Nine's still winning, though. I'm still winning with nine, so. I should get a prestige for killing him. I do! <laughs> so I died, but I still got my prestige back. But unfortunately, I did get a rot, so that's cool. Uh, not. But let's see. Let's just end this. Um, this should be it, guys. This will be this will be game over. I don't. I wish I could see everybody's stuff. Like if I click here, like will this? If I can click here and see strategy go for that isn't that doesn't help me at all I want to know like how much prestige and such oh this is it he's about to die I'm about to win the game he's dead and uh, nobody even challenged my prestige prestige victory woo yeah that's right vert well not first game I probably would have lost my first game second game here at episode two, Armello, that is a prestige victory. Awesome. So it looks like you can chat right here, and I don't. It's it's behind it though. That's frustrating. Anyways, main menu. Hey guys, that was awesome. That was uh, episode two of Armello. That was a full playthrough of the single player, and right now that was the single player. I don't think there's any other missions or anything like that. Pretty much just playing different characters and all. So, uh, this was... This was Thane. This was me kicking ass with Thane. So, I uh, hope you guys loved it. I'm going to try a public game next. Hope you guys enjoy that as well. I'll see you next time. This has been the Itty Bitty Gamer. What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching the video. If you loved it, go ahead and click subscribe and tell all your friends about me. And click on one of the videos to the left to see another Let's Play the Indies. Itty Bitty Gamer, logging off.